I'm Amy the Bunny Lady, and this is my partner Elusive, Ellie for short. High five. <laughs> Good job. Did you ever wonder why rabbit ears are so big? <laughs> Here's a little hint. It actually does not give them better hearing. If you are new to our channel, welcome. We give tips and tricks for how to make sure you have a happy and healthy bunny in your home. So if that's the kind of thing that you're interested in, go ahead and hit that subscription button and the notification bell next to it so you never miss any of our weekly videos. Believe it or not, rabbit hearing is actually not all that much better than humans. On the lower range, they hear pretty much the same things that we do, and they can hear a little bit higher than us, kind of like dogs can hear some higher pitches. Rabbits can too, but the frequencies that they hear are not significantly more than what we can hear in our day-to-day -day life. The advantage that rabbits have of hearing over humans actually is due to the cupped shape of their ears. So like many other animals, <laughs> So like many other animals, rabbits have this cup shape so that they can hear sounds specifically from one direction. So if they point their ear in a specific direction, they can hear those sounds more loudly and they can pinpoint the direction that any potential sound is coming in. Rabbit ears can even rotate 270 degrees so that between the two ears, they can hear from pretty much any direction. In the wild, this would allow them to pinpoint the sound of maybe a potential predator coming towards them, which it's, it ends up being a survival feature. So then, if the length of the rabbit's ears have nothing to do with how well they hear, why do rabbits have those iconically long ears? There is actually a reason for this, and it's to help them regulate their body temperature. Rabbits have a network of of veins and blood vessels running up through their ears and and these blood vessels can expand or constrict to help a rabbit keep in warmth or release more warmth in order to help them regulate their body temperature. That's why you'll see rabbits or related species such as hares will have bigger ears the more of a dry or arid environment they're from because the bigger the ears are, the more surface area they have, which means that there is more space for them to release heat. It helps keep the rabbit from overheating in hot, dry environments. This is also why, if you have a rabbit, you might notice that the ears change temperatures sometimes. When it's cold out, you might notice that their ears are actually kind of chilly, or when it's hot out, you notice that their ears get a little bit warmer. This keeps them from going into hypothermia or getting a heat stroke. Now, this doesn't mean that rabbits cannot get hypothermia or heat stroke. They can get to the point where they are no longer able to regulate their body temper. So if it gets so hot out, they can't regulate their body temperature anymore. You'll notice their ears start to get burning hot and that's a symptom that they're starting to overheat and potentially have a heat stroke. So that's something to pay attention to. On the other end, if you notice that their ears are getting freezing cold, it's likely that they are starting to go into hypothermia and it will be important to start to warm them up to make sure that they don't lose bodily function. So the ears can be kind of an indicator of health for rabbits as well, since they can let you know kind of the status of your rabbit's body temperature. A small amount of temperature fluctuation is perfectly normal. It's just the extremes that you want to look out for. So very hot or very cold. In those cases, you will want to make sure that you bring them to the vet for some medical intervention. So now you know why rabbit ears are so long. And while their hearing might be marginally better than humans, the length of their ears has nothing to do with it. Oh, before I forget, I have t-shirts and other merch available at Teespring. I'll put a link in the description. Um, I have a bunch of cute designs. This is one of them. I have a crazy bunny lady, crazy bunny guy. I have a couple other cute designs that you can check out if you are interested. It does help support the channel, so I do really appreciate if you just want to go ahead and check it out. If you found this video helpful or interesting in any way, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And of course, thank you so much for watching. I do hope that we will see you next week.